morning. I'm Danielle Williams, and I'm so excited to be coming to you today right here inside the Fiesta Bowl Museum in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I am with the four finalists, four finalists. They are bidding for the title of Fiesta Bowl Queen in Court. And let's face it, no Fiesta Bowl will be complete without a queen in her court. So let's get to know the ladies. We're going to start right here with the furthest and work our way back to me. So Allison, would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? Sure. My name is Allison Shanup, and I'm a Tucson local. My name is Lisette Ruiz Ibarra, and I'm also from Tucson. My name is Hannah Keo, and I'm from Scottsdale. My name is Rebecca Durazo, and I'm from Flagstaff. Now, you guys are all very beautiful, all very talented, and all very smart. Now, when it comes to Fiesta Bowl Queen and Court, this is a general question because I was thinking of this, and I'm sure somebody else has thought of it too. I think of wearing the crown, doing the wave, being in a parade, but there's so much more to it. And Hannah, I understand you want to tell us a little bit about the process involved with becoming a possible queen or the court attendee. Definitely. Well, I think all of us women are just exceptional role models, um, and we really represent the state of Arizona incredibly well. We are all uh, take our academics very seriously, involved in our communities, and really have bright futures ahead of us. I understand there's a process though. Didn't you guys have to write an essay and have some interviews you had to go through? What was that like? Who wants to answer that? Lizette, why don't you answer Sure. Um, so basically we did have to uh, write an essay, send that in. We get called back for an interview to sit down and a more formal, formal interview. And then from that we get called back and do a little mixer, get to know the people that we're going to be potentially working with. And it's been a great experience so far. I'm so lucky to have met these wonderful women that are with me right now. Well, I have to say, when I think of, you know, queen and court, like I said, I thought of a pageant. And I wanted to see if there was a little bit more involved in it and what your experience was. So let me start with you, Allison. Did any of the prior queens or maybe the court attendees give you any personal advice or have you received any advice on your journey and what was that advice and how have you used it to your advantage? You know, it was actually wonderful because Shannon Mall is a good friend of mine who was the Fiesta Bowl Queen two years ago and she called me with some amazing advice. She said, be yourself, be genuine. They're looking for someone that they can call up any time of day and want to be proud of who they are and what they're doing. And I think that's ultimately what character boils down to is who you are when no one's looking. So I think that was the best piece of advice. That's nice. Now, Lizette, you, I want to ask you this because for me, I know public speaking comes super easy. And public speaking is something that you have to do if you're the queen or if you're in the court. Now, what if there was a young girl who was looking up to you who had a fear of public speaking? What would you say to her as probably maybe your community duties to help her overcome that fear? You know, I would probably tell her to think of something silly, try to make her a little more comfortable about the situation, and hopefully just be herself, be genuine, take a deep breath, and hope for the best. <laughs> All right, well, Hannah, we're going to move on to you now. When it comes to the scholarship program, what is the one thing that you're benefiting the most, you think, from the program? I would have to say furthering my education. I mean, I'm a business marketing major, and I hope to really jump into the field of sales and marketing, but later on, I really hope to receive my MBA. So the ability to do so is definitely amazing for me. Sounds great. Now, Rebecca, last but not least, with you, um, what would you say to someone who maybe have been like standoffish, looks at it as a pageant thing? What would you say to encourage them to go full force for this? Because obviously, beauty and talent you have, but not only that, you have the smart. So what would you say to someone? Well, I, the beauty and talent is a great aspect, but you have to also be really involved in your community. Mm -hmm. You have to really be passionate about service and philanthropy, and so I think if you have those passions related to philanthropy, if you like to support athletic events like the Fiesta Bowl and you're really interested in promoting higher education, then this is definitely the scholarship program you want to apply for. Well, I have to tell you, you're beautiful, you're talented, and you're extremely smart, and I am so proud of you. And these are the four finalists. I, I wouldn't know which one to crown queen. I say give you all a crown. <laughs> but all I have to do is say this. Best of luck to all of you guys. You. This is our future. You guys are amazing. All right, ladies, if you can do this just for me, I got to see the parade wave. <laughs>